Give. Just, just be a giver. You say, well, how do I know what that man? He says he'll work for food. He's probably going to go buy whiskey and wine and drugs. and Yeah, but I would just go by Holy Ghost. Maybe you dropping seed, maybe you dropping seed into corruption makes something incorruptible. Let me ask you a question. When you got saved, was you good or was you bad? So when the seed of salvation came in you, it began to make you good. Come on, somebody help me. Somebody help me. I'm saying I'm learning. I don't always think, I thought I, I always knew what good soil was. Sometimes I don't think we do. I think we just go by, I don't like him. I don't like that place. I don't like this. And I'm finding out that some of the people that I haven't liked help me the most. Come on. Look at me. You're all still within the scope of being able to be completely financially independent, debt free. Everybody in this room. But more than likely, it's not going to be because you work hard and pay your bills off. And I hope you still don't sell drugs. I hope there's nobody in here selling <laughs> drugs. Or playing the tables or playing the lottery. Listen to me. But if you sow seed, I'm not saying here tonight, I'd like you to, but if not, somewhere. Somewhere. I give to Joyce Meyer. That's a great ground. I give to Andrew Womack, phenomenal. I give to Brother Copeland, amazing. I'm good, for, I'm good with all that. But make sure you keep giving. Doesn't have to be big amounts, just steady amounts. Come on, say steady amounts. And God will, God will protect you. He promised to keep the devourer from coming into your field. The one thing I want to know when I'm facing another trial is I have seed in the ground put your hands up all over the place we're going to take this offering right now because we're going to get very 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 busy praying with you tonight and I just want you to hear him tonight I know there's needs in here I'm not here to take your money but I am here to receive your seed I'm not here to take it if you, if you need that money more than you maybe that I know tonight and you need to keep that then you keep it you keep it. And whenever you can give money, then you give it. But tonight, if it's possible, if Holy Spirit's moving on you and you just don't know how to, how are you going to pay all that stuff off? Who's standing in line to really help you? What bank? What family member? They all pray for you, but who really is in your line to help you? Let me tell you one, the Holy Spirit. He's there. He can do for you what he's done for me and countless thousands and millions of other people. Come on, put your hands up and say, Holy Spirit, show me what to do tonight. There's not a thing I can pay for. Nothing that's happened this weekend. It's unaffordable. It's not in a book anywhere. It's matchless, and I've enjoyed it, and I've watched it. Help me tonight in some way. Show appreciation. Sow a seed into this soil so I can reap unimaginable. Come on, say, press down, shaken together, and running over. Say this, 30, 60, 90, a hundredfold. Say this, 10,000%. God, I'm believing to live by the laws of the kingdom. Miracles happen in the money realm too. Oh, I pray it comes to my family tonight. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on. Come on, hurry up. If you could go ahead and get your checks ready. Really, if we could do this promptly, swiftly, then we can just get to the rest of this service. I'm so excited tonight about what's What's happening in this meeting? I really am. Make your checks payable to the Lighthouse, the Lighthouse Church, the Lighthouse Fellowship, or just the Lighthouse. If you're giving by credit card or debit card, then you need to put that on one of the envelopes. Do you have a church envelope? Can you show me one? They're in the, they're in the back of the pew. They're right in the back of the pew. 
And I believe there's a place on here to put your credit card on there. Is it right? Text to give. Text to give. You got text to give. TV ministry. Pardon me. Oh, it's right up on the screen. There you go. Okay, right up on the screen. And um, hey, there I am too up on the screen. Look at that. <laughs> Can't get away from me. Everywhere I go. There you go. Yeah. One time in a Catherine Kuhlman service, I had five 20s in my pocket. That's all that I had. I was 19 years old. All that I had was five 20s. And, and the bag came down to me, and the Holy Spirit said to me, as clear as, clear as the bell, he said, give it all. Give it all. I said, well, if I give it all, I won't have anything to go home with. I just answered them. I invent. Do you ever answer somebody invisible? Come on, somebody help me. <laughs> it's one thing to answer somebody that's right there. But invisible God is kind of like, he's, the Holy Spirit says, give it all. I said, I won't have anything to go home with. He said, give it all. I said, I'll be broke. Give it all. I thought, oh, my God. So that bag comes down, and I, it just goes so overwhelming. I reached in 520s, and I stuck it down in the bag, and I kept my hand. <laughs> I didn't leave go of the bag until the bag, they had to pull the bag away, <laughs> away. And then I watched the bag go down the rest of the aisle. And the Holy Spirit told us, I said, leave it go. Leave it go. Put, leave it with me. Sow it. Leave it go. Because you can give money and then worry about it. Come on. You can, you can buy clothes and then the holy home worry that you spend too much. And, you know, and as that thing left me, I said, my word, you know, this is incredible. Well, fast forward many, many years later, and I was preaching at a church in Wisconsin. And the lady in the middle of the congregation, must have been a thousand people there, and she stood up and she says, Billy Burke, I have a gift for you in front of everybody. Well, you don't know what that is. And uh, I said, ma'am, ma'am, just calm down. She says, no, my husband and I, we have the final six bags of the Catherine Coleman ministry in our possession. They were donated. They were left in her will to my husband and I. And God spoke to us that were to give you one of these bags and that he would know exactly, you would know exactly what it means. <laughs> and I thought, oh, no, that means giving everything again. That's what it meant. And she brought the bag up, and I have that in my office at home. I keep it in my home, not my office, but my home. And it's just a velvet, simple little bag, not a big bag, but it was in that bag. So I, I pull it every once in a while, and I put my hand in there. I said, oh, Lord, how many years ago did I give you 20, did I five 20s? And Lord, what you've done today, you've taken this ministry around the world and back. And the healings and the miracles. What, could $100 buy that? No. Come on, before you give that money, put your hands up one more time. I'm going to pray for you because some of you are looking at me like, if you think I'm taking, you keep it. I don't want it. But if you, if you think I'm receiving it to help you, I tell you a truth tonight. There's no faster, accelerated way to get prosperous without sorrow. Michael Jackson had a lot of money and a lot of sorrow. The Kennedys had a lot of money and a lot of sorrow. And you can take any name you want. A lot of money, but a lot of sorrow. They would gladly give that money back to have those people sitting at the table. Come on, say, Holy Ghost, there's nobody like you. I'm involved in this end time harvest. And I want to be involved in every possible dimension as a speaker, as someone that shares, as a praise worshiper, as an visitor, as a guest, and as a giver. I don't want to be outside. I want to be inside. I want to be a part of this great sweeping move of God. It's a red wave, but it's the crimson tide of Calvary sweeping across this country, coast to coast and around the world. Revival's about to hit. Come on, somebody give God a big, big shout. Come on. Come on. We're going to bring them up in the basket, put it up in the basket. We're going to put the baskets right on the stage right here. Are they there? They're already there. Here's a big basket right here. Wow. There's $5 in there already. Come on, let's go. 
Take, let's get that gift up. Then stand to your feet whenever you're done writing out your check. Wave it up in the air. Come on, wave it up in the air. And say, look here, Lord. Here's what I'm doing tonight. I'm expecting a mighty visitation from an open heaven in Jesus' name. Come on up quickly, everybody, quickly. I believe in I've seen miraculous redeemed from Calvary from Calvary I've seen the lily push its way up through the stubborn sun beautiful beautiful you're going to have it it's starting right now thank you thank you thank you oh I love you I love what you're saying That's all right. It's showing now. Oh, my. Thank you. Thank you. Redeem through. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Keep me in your prayers. Sing the lily. I will, but let me get moving here. I will. I promise. Where are you sitting at? Where are you sitting at? I'll call you. I'll call you. Come on, I believe. I Quickly, tonight, I want a few of the testimonies from last night, yesterday, Sunday morning, I don't know, last year, two years ago, I mean, whatever. I want a couple of testimonies of something that happened to you in one of these mighty services. Quickly, what do we have right here, sir? I, I, I'm delivered. We, you talked about people just sitting in the service. Yes, yes. Touched. Yes. Well, I had come underneath quite an oppression because of some physical Concerns, yes. Physical concerns my wife had gone through. Yes. And I guess just fear of, actually fear of her passing. Just, I didn't realize how heavy the oppression had become. Wow. And then uh, last night, in the middle of the night, it just broke. In the middle of the yeah, night. It broke. And, and, I, and I was. Oh. <laughs> Somebody better praise him, I'll tell you that. I mean, you may get it here. It may manifest on the way home, yeah. manifest the next morning. Amen. Thank God for the ones we've seen happen right here in front of us. But, I mean, this is, did that surprise you? Yeah, it did. I mean, to the degree that I didn't realize how it had really become so oppressive. I knew I had been going in and out of school. Was you in bed when this happened? Yeah, I was in the bed. And your was wife was there, too? Yeah, she was there, too. Yeah. Did you wake her up, or...? No, no, I didn't wake up. She recognized the difference in the morning. So did some friends because they recognized So you, was you delivered quietly? Was, was there noise or was no, quiet? No, just, just broke. It just, it just it broke. Just, just broke. Something and lifted yeah. from you. Yeah, and I said, I'm ready to receive from my healing. Because <gasps> I wasn't able to receive because the oppression was so great. And how, so your healing is what? Heterotropia. Heter, heter, heterotropia. Heter, Heterotropia. Heterotropia. It's okay. a congenital concern. I didn't even know I had it until about uh, eight Hetero. years ago. And apparently it's it's when neurons are in the wrong place in your brain. You've got gray matter in the wrong area. Oh. And so you do word searching and things like that. Don't get caught up into bondage with the name of your disease. You know? I mean, some of the disease, like that, name, that thing right there, some of you may think, I'm going to go home and Google that. Well, what would you do that for? Save your Googles for something worthwhile. <laughs> right? Spend your Googles on something valuable. Not go home and research, what was the name of that disease that guy had? Oh, wow, look at that. Look what that does to you. But how did that help you? <laughs> it didn't help you. Google wealth transfer. <laughs> Come on. Come on. 
Google the money of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Somebody help me here. Come on, Google double portion. Come on, somebody help me. See, you're going to pick up a Google spirit. That's what you're going to pick it up. You're, just, you're going to be searching for everything that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We want to go after things that matter, what life, life and, and righteousness under Christ Jesus. Put your hands up, sir. They want to put a heart monitor. God but wants to I put a... I already received the word the other night. You said they're not going to find anything. <gasps> I'm, I'm standing on that. Touch it again. Touch him again, dear Jesus. Come on. Somebody give God a shout. I'll tell you. Come here. What happened to you? Last night you, last night you prayed about her heart and the pacemaker. Yes. And she is much, much improved from Praise yesterday. What? She has, yes. been, she Praise has the felt, Lord. She has felt terrible for months. As a matter of fact, three months ago, she fell and messed up a rotator cup. But and, tell me, and, how, how, do you know, how do you know that it's better? What, what's significantly she, different? She's got more energy. Oh, my. She, she I had to have the oxygen, oxygen today. You I've what? been all day without any oxygen. No oxygen. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm not going to do any more until you get excited. What's the matter with this place? Amen. Remarkable change from yesterday at this time and until she was prayed for last night. But this is not the first time she's received from the Lord through your ministry. Okay, we're, I'm, I'm okay with all of it. I'm just thrilled tonight that I'm watching her face. And that's a different face than yesterday. <laughs> look at her, look at her. I've been able to go with any oxygen. I've had to have oxygen to breathe. And today I can walk without without the Somebody better get a little bit happy. What's that? I got my miracle. I believe I got my miracle. Yeah. I believe it. Yes. But, she, I believe but it. she's been so feeble for the last several months. Three months ago, she fell and messed up her rotator cuff. He touched me. Come on. Oh, he touched me. And all oh, the joy. Everybody, come on. And oh, the joy that. How about these words? Something happened. Come on. Something happened. Now I do. He and And since I met my blessed Savior, and since He cleansed and me, come on, I will never cease to praise Him. I will never cease to praise Him. I'll shout it. Come on. Come on, every voice. Let's sing it loud. He touched me. Come on. He and oh, he and oh, that. Come on, something happened. Something happened. No. He me. Me. Let's keep a mic on her. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the miracle, Father. Leave her go. Leave her go. Leave her go. Jesus. The power's on her. The power's on her. Power. Oh, I thank the Lord. Because mm -hmm. I've suffered and suffered 
not been able, I couldn't even go shopping and do anything. That is a, that's now, bad for a woman right now there. Now I can go shopping and spend money. <laughs> no, she's unsaid. It can't shop. That's a curse from hell right there. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Precious. Hallelujah. Oh. What's that? She couldn't go to church either. We've been homebound for quite a while. And when we found out you was going to be back here this year, we made a point to come. Oh, we're because just we've received from the Lord through your ministry well, this many, many times over the last several years. Thank you, sir. And we are partners with you. Oh, my. And I would encourage everybody here. Say that one more time, sir. Say that one more time. We are partners with Billy Burke's <laughs> ministry. And I would encourage everyone in this building to become a partner because you get... You get every month, you get a CD with some of the most amazing teaching on it. Oh, my. And some of them you want to listen to three or four times. This looks like a setup, I mean, I'll tell you what. <laughs> this looks. No, I'm not on staff. I'm not on staff. I've been in lots of his meetings. Because in 2000 and, or 2015, I was in a meeting with you, and it changed my life. And right. every time you're within driving distance of us in Arkansas, we go to see you. Oh, my. And it's been such a blessing, wow. such a blessing Thank to you. be in a service where a man of God Thank with you. such honor and integrity and anointing that you carry, wow. it's just amazing. Don't it's make me cry, sir. Don't make me cry. I got a lot of work to do here tonight. <laughs> oh, my. You know, to hear somebody say that, because the thing that people appreciate the anointing, they appreciate the meetings, but the cost of what it takes to do all this is it, it's a big burden to bear and it's oftentimes I say to the Lord if I'd have known all of this I don't know that I would have said yes and uh, thank you very kind of you I, pr I pray that this testimony just resonates I pray that this is something that doesn't just go away in a week or two but I pray that it makes you whole and that all the days of your life, there'll be no dementia, no Alzheimer's, no cancer. All the days of your life. Somebody give God a shout. Come on. Somebody give God a shout. Come on, give him a mighty praise. Oh. Oh, no, 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 son. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Lord, I love you, Jesus. Lord, I love you. Wow. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the end. Wow. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you, She didn't have to take her medication, is that right? Lord, I pray you. It alters you. It alters you. Medication has an altering effect. And you live your whole life and you become divorced of who you really are. Other people see it and they reap from your personality that's been hijacked. That's not their mother. That's not their dad. That's not their stepmother. Because it affects you. You may not think it does, but it does. It steals your compassion. Your empathy towards people. You know, and it makes you narcissistic. It makes you totally all about you. And then you get controlled by, I gotta take my pill. It's 10 o'clock, I gotta take my pill. Oh, I gotta take my pill. And you, wherever you are, you just, well, if we could just get some people to say, oh, it's 10 o'clock, I gotta pray. 10 o'clock, I gotta pray. I gotta go to the ladies' room and say a prayer. If we could just get people like that. But on that medication, on that prescription bottle, three times a day, we become so faithful to that. And I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but you shouldn't do it for your whole life. You should do it until your faith grows, and then you can step in and take, do something about it. Amen. Amen? Amen? We would never encourage you to do something that would hurt you. We're not here to hurt you. But, but you take something until your, your face should be growing. If you're in these kind of meetings, your face shouldn't be getting weaker. Fear shouldn't be taking you over. Negative words shouldn't continue to come out of your mouth. Amen. Unless you're hanging out at Joe's bar. Come on, can you say amen? 
you're hanging out in the anointing in a church like this. This is here to change the culture. Come on, say, it changed my culture. The atmosphere of your whole home, of your car. It's really, it's here to help you become who God's ordained you to be. She messed up her, she couldn't do that. No, she couldn't hardly move her left oh arm my at God. all. She's waving her rotator cuff arm. She's waving it. He's a gift that keeps on giving. Come on, somebody. Oh, your name is higher. Let's sing it. Come on. Your name is Jesus. Your name is higher than any other. Let's help her up. Can we help her up? Your name. Be careful, guys. Be careful. But I call Oh, it is Jesus. Jesus. Oh, it is Jesus. Lord, I thank you for it. Because you know, Jesus, I thank you. Yes, it is. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Oh, Come on, it is Jesus in my soul. It is in my soul. Come on, for I have touched the hem. Come on, somebody. For I have touched the is God and His blood on if you know it. Sing it with us. Yes, it is Jesus. She's under the power here. She can't even get up. Come on, in my soul. For I have touched the hem. The And his blood. And his blood. That's Lisa Hughes, her husband, Bruce. Give them a big God bless. And can you do it tonight? You know, this lady, what's her name? Who? You're mar- How long have you been married? Uh, it'd be 52 years, the 8th of November. And you call her what? Pat? I call her Pat. You call her Pat. Uh-huh. Pat. Oh, let's help Pat up. Let's help Pat up. Come on, Pat. I want to talk to you a minute here. Plus, you're blocking traffic anyhow, so. We go everywhere we can where you're at. What? Where you're at, we go where you're at. Oh. We try to go everywhere you go. Hallelujah. Too sweet. We're going to go see Billy Burke. Get oh, ready. Get ready. <laughs> Hallelujah. Nothing great about Billy Burke, but I'll tell you, the person that, that changed me, Hallelujah. the person that came on the inside of me, and uh-huh. when I wasn't too nice of a person, Jesus. Jesus. when I was slipping away, it's so dark. Jesus. So dark. I couldn't even see my hand. Is that dark? Yes, oh, yes, yes, but my brother was killed by a drunk driver. He was four years younger than me. And uh, when I got that news, I just... Jesus. That's when Catherine Coleman had Maggie call my house. And she says, now Billy will listen. 
I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this. God had to chase me. It's like he's chased some of you tonight. You know what I'm talking about. You love him, you want him, but you want him eh, not in the living room. You want him in the foyer. Come on. You want him on the front porch. You want him as a security light. He says, I want the keys to the house. I want the keys. Hand me the keys, I'll give you the kingdom. The Bible says it's the Father's good pleasure to give you the whole kingdom. I never, never would have ever believed I would get to see what I see or meet who I get to meet. Churches like this, people like the parishes, Jonathan and Kelly and all these wonderful people, don't take them for granted. I mean it. I expect you to give them some text this week or some emails or, you know what I mean? All the good pumpkin pies send to my house. Come on, somebody. <laughs> You're so precious. I'm so thrilled about this. You're crying. You're, you're, ha you're that happy. I'm just so happy because I got that miracle. I can go shopping. <laughs> there she did it again. Leave her shop, though. Give oh, her. She can shop all she wants. I'll give her a credit. I've never stopped her. I've okay. always encouraged her to go okay. shopping. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, but she hasn't been able. Well, to. that's why you encouraged her. She knew she couldn't go. <laughs> no, I mean, after fi I mean, 50 years ago, I started encouraging her. Okay, you know? yeah. okay. And one more request. Okay, hurry, hurry. That God would touch her ears because she needs hearing aids, but God is more than able. Well, she's hearing me pretty good. Yeah. Aren't you hearing me? You want this, the, the left ear? That's the left ear, right? She can't hear out of here. She's had trouble out of both ears. Does she have a hearing aid in there? No, no hearing aids. That's the wig covering up here. That's what is it? Yeah. The wig. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Dear Jesus, help me, I'll tell you. Help me, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Give us all wisdom or something. <laughs> That power of the Holy Ghost! Woo. Woo. That ear opened right up, I'll tell you that. Woo, look at this. 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 Oh, oh. Only believe. And only believe all things so possible. Come on, can you sing it with me tonight? Please help me. Oh, look at this. Come on, only believe. Come on, all things. All are possible only and Lord I believe come on Lord I believe come on every voice oh, Lord I believe all things are possible oh Lord I believe, and Lord, I receive. That's it, I receive. Lord, I receive. All things are possible. Lord, I receive. What's going on here, ma'am? What happened to you? Well, usually you ask for a testimony yes. from the night before. Yes. So I came for a miracle, but also a couple of years ago, it was 2019, I mm. came to Tulsa. Mm -hmm. You were there with the Millennial Church uh -huh. in that building mm -hmm. that was by the hotel. Uh -huh. 
And you called my husband and I out. Where's he at? Oh, he's, he's back there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, anyway, when you touched me, I didn't know what it, I was going to receive, mm -hmm. but I felt like lightning. Lightning, wow. And I came off the floor about six inches. Wow. And then I landed on the floor, and I was glued to the floor. I couldn't move wow. for a long time. Joe was there and Patsy, and they can testify. I went, after I got up, I said, did I come off the floor? And they said, yes. Oh, my. And I know what it was for, and I can tell you now. Um, I didn't think I could do it. But the Lord had called me to go to school and work on a master's in divinity to become Good for a chaplain, you. and I graduate in December. Give her a God bless you. Come on. Look it's you. been very hard, mm -hmm. but I believe that the Lord gave me energy that, that night. night to complete wow. it. And this is the thing, though. I applied for a chaplaincy residency, mm -hmm. and I had to turn it down. I'm doing an internship with a hospice, uh -huh. going to nursing homes. Oh, wow. But my heart was to go to the hospital all this time, 20 years. It's been, so i finally reaching the goal. But what stopped me is my knees. Your knees. I have to be on my feet all I day, see, I see. 40 hours a week. Mm -hmm. And God has to complete it for mm -hmm. me to complete my dream. Yeah, wow. So I can do what he wants me to do. Yeah, I agree. So um, it's arthritis and bone on bone. It's very painful. Oh, so you're here to get healed. I want to complete what God you wants. You snuck in the healing line. Well, I gave you a testimony. I gave what you a testimony. What do you do to people that sneak in the healing line here? Where's the pastor at? What do, the, what do you do to the people that come up here and nah, 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 and then they Plus, sneak in I'm here ahead of everybody else? I'm a partner, too. Oh, she's a partner. <laughs> For years. <laughs> Amazing. I, I love working with people. I just love it. It's okay. You don't mind that she's ahead of you? You don't mind that? I mean, she's got a divinity degree, right? So what, that, that, that gives some power. Pastor, what do you think of this? Go ahead, go ahead. Where's your church? What church do you go to? Um, it's a, an assembly, Battlefield Assembly in Springfield, Missouri. Oh, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Do your knees still hurt? I can't kneel, so I want to kneel. Oh. I'm not able to kneel. Well, to that's break. before you came here. <laughs> <laughs> you better give God praise all over this place. We got a camera on this. We got a camera on this. There it is. Come on, somebody give God a big shout in this place. Come on.
possible in my mind. I want a sound mind. I don't want to forget anything that I've learned these I'm six years. I'm on your years. side, lady. I'm on your side. <laughs> you study and you study and you study. This, this is what happens. See, you get, when you get healing, understand something. It may, may motivate you more. When you get healing, you never, ever just get healing. You get presence. The presence you didn't pray for, the presence you didn't fast for, the presence you didn't obey for, it comes on the coattails with that healing. That healing comes in and presence comes in. And I don't know how many days or weeks that you have a head start to feed that. You get more than a healing. You're concentrating on, boy, I can move my arm and God's permeating all through you. Keeping you from evil, taking away evil desires, cultivating forgiveness, causing you to worship, getting out of savage music, getting out of music that keeps pain alive in your life for years. Quit worshiping people that, that don't worship God. You say, but I won't throw anybody, in. I'll throw them and the bus off. Come on, somebody. I'll you got to protect progress. Come on, so you got to protect progress. If you don't show any value for progress, then you just keep getting stolen from. I don't want to go back into that dark hole. I don't want to go back into broke. I don't want to go back into empty. I don't ever want to be that way again. I'm with so many people, they would give anything, do anything. Just to have peace for one day. I talk to people that don't even sleep. People that sleep on the park benches in Central Park. Sleep on the streets. Sleep wherever they can get into warm air. I speak to people that are so broken, they never think they can be. So they just sleep with anybody to get somebody into their life. They don't prostitute for money. They prostitute to be full. Only they get broken one more time. Get healed. Get whole. Mary Magdalene had seven devils. She was a prostitute. She had seven devils in her. And when those devils came out, Mary was a new woman. She told Jesus, I'm never leaving you. And she became a radical worshiper of the new covenant. You want to learn how to worship? Follow Mary. She was always kneeling, crying, wiping his feet, dumping alabaster box of ointment over his feet. She poured out the whole treasury of worship because she said, I could never make me. I could never get free. My willpower wasn't enough. Having a family wasn't enough. Having little children wasn't enough. I just couldn't break free from it. My dad was an alcoholic, and my mother did this. I just couldn't get free. And Jesus made me free. How do you not give everything over to Jesus who does that for you? You have an opportunity this weekend to really change your reality even if the way you perceive him, the way you perceive church. Some church people will remain shallow their whole life, ankle deep, knee deep. It's okay, I'm happy you're a Christian. But there are believers that want to go waist deep, and there's some believers that want to go over their head. They want to swim in the river of life. Come on, somebody help me. How many want to swim? How many want to swim in that river of life? Huh? I kid you not, it's available. But you may have to break rank and file from some of your closest Christian friends. That don't mean you're better than them. I don't mean you enter the snooty crowd. Come on, say amen. But it means you just, you got to go after more than what they're going after. You got to try and be humble about it, but you just want more. 
more of him, more of the blessings, more of this. This lady here, this. How do you, how do you, how do you rehearse that? I'm just thinking how blessed we are this weekend. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody give God a shout. Come on, I want to hear God. You are the God that he lifts me. When you were talking about the offering, yes. God told me to give everything in my purse. Just a minute, guys. I want to hear this lady share. You got a mic for her? When you were talking about giving and planting seed and sowing mm -hmm. seed, God told me to give you everything in my purse. And I said, but God, Dear but Lord. wait a minute, God. But God, I need but this and that. I have to be obedient to God. So I challenge everybody, if he told you to give everything in oh, your purse Jesus. and your wallet, it's time to bring it up. This is a very nice lady right here. I'll tell you that right now. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Four hand claps. I appreciate that. Four hand claps. <laughs> What's the matter with this crowd? What's the matter with this crowd? Hey! God. Amazing. What, now, what's, what's going on over here, right here? Can I just thank you? And I want to tell you, going to school is draining. Mm -hmm. And I know how to believe for healing, but I was so focused on school that I couldn't, and I needed this. You got so, it, girl. And um, my mind, sometimes I forget. Any way I can help you, just let me know. Write me, okay? BillyBurke.org, write me, let me know. <laughs> I Remind just, me of this. What's your name? Laura. Laura. I gave it to her. I okay. Her. Okay. But could you pray for my memory? I'll pray for your mind, but right now you lost it. You lost your mind. I have. <laughs> you know? Did you see me? Years ago, I don't know if you remember Barry McGuire. He was a great singer in his 60s and 70s. He was a rock star. And then he got born again in California. And he, some of his stuff was so incredible in the 70s, but he said, he told an audience one time, he said, you know what? People say that I'm brainwashed. He said, my brain needed scrubbed. It needed, <laughs> it needed washed and scrubbed, and I never forgot that, because it does. This stuff out here, this culture is so, they dope you with such crazy stuff. They don't want you to know the truth. They're so afraid of the truth. Hmm. Put, your, put your hands over your head. But I want to work with veterans that have PTSD. You want to work with veterans that have PTSD? Ma'am, you, the, the sky's the limit. What happened here tonight, what you did, you got healed, you got the word, you got, you got energy, you have a dream, you have a master's degree. I, get down on my I don't feel sorry for you. Okay. I, No, you're doing them. You're doing amazing stuff, and you're going to help other people reach their destiny. You have what? You do. No, say I do. By faith, I do. Say by faith, I do. Get out of this hope. By faith, I do. By faith, I do. By faith, I do. That's wonderful. He's put that in your heart. That's your burden. Obey it. It could be for a season. It could be for life. We don't know. He lifts, he moves, you, you move into other seasons. I get it, I get it. Okay. Okay. All right? Put your hands up. I, I got to get moving. I got some people here to help. You're not the only one here, lady. You know that. But hopefully it gave them faith. They're all watching you. Put your hands up from Springfield. You're from Springfield? Come on, say, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus. I declare tonight. I, I declare. I declare. I've received. I receive. I'm going to be a living vessel. I'm going to be a living and vessel. And a yielded vessel. And a yielded vessel. To do your bidding. To do your bidding. Everywhere that I go. Everywhere that Order I go. Order my steps. Order my steps. Establish my thoughts. Establish my and thoughts. And give me your desires. Give me your desires. Somebody give God a shout. Come on. Come on. Come on, give him a mighty praise. Come on, sir. You doing all right? You doing okay? What's yeah. going? You staggered there a little bit. You okay? 
Uh, so because of news I got today. What news did you get? I went to the doctor. And I was supposed to get uh, an appointment for when they were going to do uh, get the cancer off my liver. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said I had enough left where I'd be all right. And when I went in today, they changed their mind and they said that uh, the liver I have left ain't enough. I wouldn't survive. And so I said it was unoperable. So you came to church. Oh, I seen you. I seen your show yesterday, mm -hmm. and I said I gotta go see this. Mm. Wow. So what are you gonna do? What, what do they want you to do? They said it was unoperable. They said that they would uh, contact me in a couple of weeks. So I don't. I don't know. Well, tell me in a couple of weeks it'll be too late. It'll be gone. Yeah. He didn't even hear what I said, did you? He didn't hear what I said. He didn't. He didn't. Hmm. There's such a healing presence here tonight. I want you all to get ready for your healing tonight. I don't know how we're going to do it. I don't know how we're going to wrap this up at a decent hour. But we're going to do it. We're here for you tonight. It's the last night for this time. And we hope to see each other again, but this is the last night for this time. Just amazing presence here. Amazing. Don't you feel it? How many feel the presence in the, where you're sitting? Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Let's just sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just mighty touch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? Tingling all over his hand on top of my head. Tingling all over his head. I just barely touched him. Mm. That's where cancer spreads. It goes to your brain or to your heart. To some of those major, that's where it goes, where it travels to the brain, travels to the heart, travels to the lungs. When cancer is on the run, it, it, it wants to go to one of the main parts of your body. Tell me that's not evil. Come on, tell me that's not evil. Say the name Jesus. No, I mean when you're, when you're home, when you're going to bed, just say the name. Keep that name circulating in your system. It's better than vitamin A, B, C, D, E, and zinc. Come on, somebody. It's better than all of it. It's better than all of it. Hallelujah. Mighty touch. Just the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's the power going through you, sir. Power of the Holy Spirit. He's a healer of disease and cancer, breaking up tumors and cells, scraping lungs, scraping necks. Hallelujah. Singing Hallelujah. You called chromosome. Chromosome. I think it was this child here. Missing chromosome. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. And he had he had missing chromosome. And he's speaking. The power's, the power's on this guy here. I'm trying to pay attention to everybody. I can't do it. And this guy has really got hit hard here. Knocked his pants right down. Look at that. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Sir, hold it. Hold, hold it. What do you think of that? Um, uh, I feel it. I feel something different inside. Come on. Thank you. Come on, say, I'm going to live and not die. Say that. I'm going to live. I'm going to live and not die and not die and declare the works of the Lord. And this is the Lord. He's moving in me. He's moving His in name me. is Jesus. His name is Jesus. And I ask him to forgive me tonight. I ask him to forgive me of all my sins. For all my sins. There are many. There are many. Forgive me, Jesus. Forgive me, Jesus. Wash me. Wash me. And live inside me. Live inside me. Heal me. Heal me. Extend my life. 
that I may serve you. And I'll be serving you. I'll prove to you. And I'll prove to you my loyalty. My loyalty. My love to you. My love to You're you. my master. You're my master. Come on, somebody give God a big shout. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. What's going on? So I want him to be able to speak and be able to do his homework like he should. Yeah. And he's doing who, better. Who was this to this you? This is my grandbaby. Your my grand grandson. Uh-huh. Okay, what's his name? We call him KJ, but his name is Kenneth. Kenneth? Mm -hmm. Okay, Kenneth, we're going to touch Kenneth right here by the Holy... Oh, the Kenneth, the Holy Ghost. That's the power on you, Kenneth. That's the power. That's the power. That's the power, Kenneth. Oh, my word. Whew, feels pretty good, don't it? Huh? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Come on, somebody give God a shout. Wow. Hallelujah. Touch, just touch, just touch, just touch, just touch. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, last night. And hurry, ma'am, hurry, ma'am, hurry. Tonight you called out those that came up on last night. Yeah. That had a healing yeah. on last year. Yeah, hurry, hurry. I was one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I haven't had no asthma attack. I have not taken any asthma medicine. Wow. And I'm not going to take wow. none. Now, I'm a diabetic. Okay. And I came in here tonight, been praying all day. I had diabetic pains in my leg, diabetic pains in my back. I mean, severe. Okay, okay. And I sit there, and I begin to tell the Lord, Lord, I didn't come all this way for nothing. I came to get healed. So I'm going to tell you right now, Billy Bird, I have no pain. Oh! You better praise him tonight. Come on, you better praise him tonight. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, what happened? I got healed last night in a mighty way. And, you know, like your face activated my face. For, so I want to thank Jesus for using you, that your face was united with my face. Beautiful. And I got healed so in a mighty way because I was seeking this all my life. Ever since I was a child, um, I would pass the exams with the like extreme genius, mm -hmm. and then two weeks later, fail everything. And my mother, my mother and father took me hospital to uh, put the monitors in old country there, <laughs> put the monitors to hook on my brain to see like what was going on, and they couldn't find nothing. They said she's genius. Then my mom <laughs> goes like, she passed all those exams, and all mm -hmm. of a sudden she fails everything. Like, who are you fooling? It was all process yes. of struggling. So Ever since I so was a little night, girl. So last night. Last night, I was sitting there. I was not even here. Yes. I, like, you, you didn't touch me. God touched That's me. That's it. God used you, your faith and mine. Okay. So, <laughs> so I was sitting in that chair there, mm -hmm. and this sweet lady that was just here, mm -hmm. the last one that mm -hmm. left, those right. are my friends that you collect the good friends from yeah. Kansas City. Yeah. Anyway, she, she was next to me, and I told her I just got healed. Wow. And it, it wasn't like, I wasn't feeling anything. It's not about heal me, to thrill me, make me feel good stuff, all this falling on the ground stuff, none of that. It just was, I just knew that some, something like jump start in my brain. You got a quickening. Yeah, because I was, I was able to go home and read the Bible. I was longing that ever since I first time met you, because if I, if I would read in Hebrew, Aramaic, and all this Jewish stuff, I was able to. Yeah. As soon as I opened a New Testament, it would make me fall asleep or do anything, this right. enemy. Wow. So I was like soaking up in the Bible right away. It all come back to me, thank whatever I was Thank you, reading. Jesus. Come on, thank, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Come on, give God a big shout. Yes, sir. What happened to you? 
I had a whole list of battles I'm going through, but conge we decided congestive heart failure That's is what we one. pray for. Yeah. So when I sat back down over here, my sister was with me. And I said, I can breathe better. And this morning I got up and checked my oxygen and my pulse and with my meter, and I've never had it over 92. It was 98 this morning. <laughs> Yes! Come on, somebody! Come on! Seven, seven. Woo! I was up at six. I got to bed at one. I was up at six praying and reading the word at six o'clock. You what now? I got to bed at one when we got back to Tulsa. And I was up at six praying and reading the word this morning, like up at six reading and praying. Slept like a baby till the end, and woke up. And I'm ready to go. It's like something's going on. My use being re renewed like the eagles. That's what's happening. You know, the word's working. Yeah. For it reaches to the high. Come on, everybody, and it flows to the low. Yes. Oh, that blood of Jesus. And the blood that gives me strength from day to day. To this That's amazing. That's pretty powerful. God is a powerful God. I can God. see it in your face. That's, this wasn't you. Yet. I walked in and and two people told me you look like ashes when you walked in here and when you left your whole countenance had changed. Pastor, even Pastor told me that. He said, when you left your color was back. So your life praise is God. Back. Yeah. Keep it, keep adding, keep feeding the fire. Yeah. The lights goes out, but the anointing never goes out. Become an addict, you know, become, I need it. I got to have it every day. Come on, say, whatever I have to do to get the time. I'll rob time from here to, so I can get time to say a prayer, read a scripture, read one verse a day. Well, anybody can do that. You know, you don't, you don't want to die early and, and realize you could have prevented the whole thing. Right? You know, I, go, I used to go fishing with my grandfather when I was little up at the Shenango River. And there was a lot of mosquitoes up there. And he'd take me down there. I was just six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eight. And he, there's this can of spray. It's called off. <laughs> and they spray off on you, and the mosquitoes don't want to land on you. He said, hey, boy, hold your arms out there. Come on, we're going to put spray. I said, Pap, what's that going to do? He said, well, keep the bugs off you. They won't bite you. You can catch as many fish as you want to catch. I said, mean, Pap, I can catch more fish. You catch more fish. Because if you stay here and you don't put that on you, those mosquitoes are going to get to you and bite you, and you're not going to be able to pay attention to what you're doing. You know how many people are consumed with some of the small demons and devils that steal your thinking, steal your thoughts? You know, just a couple praise songs, scare them off. Just a couple. Just some Christian music playing in your car. Or listening to somebody else read the word in your car. Or leave the Christian channel on all day. Small, simple things. It's like spraying that bug spray on you. They don't want to come near that stuff. They hate it. It's a reminder to him when he got kicked out of heaven, he lost it all. He hates praise. He hates worship. And the more you do that, the more you scare him away from you. You say, but I don't have a good voice. Well, everybody's going to hear you is God. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no one's listening to you. What if I sing off key? God can handle that. He has a lot of people off key. Come on, say amen. amen. Amazing. Give this man a big God bless you for that. What happened to you? We came, my husband and I came last year, and you were praying for him, and then you said, you got a wife? Get on down here. So I came down here, and you was praying for us, and I was holding my belly, and you said, woman of God, hold your belly. You're going you're to, 
You're going to deliver destiny. You have destiny inside of you. Oh, wow. I've been waiting three years to get into the Texas Department of Criminal Justice in our prison. When I left in October, 10 months later, I'm in. <laughs> Come on! Come on! See, that kind of a word won't heal your body, it'll heal your life. You can get your life healed. So she came to a healing meeting, got her life. Yeah. You get destiny, you get purpose. You get purpose to men to give you something for your feet to hit the floor in the morning. And you can have purpose as a homemaker. You can have purpose in anything. You don't have to go do something fantastic, but something that God has put on your heart to do. It's amazing. I didn't have the resources to buy it, so the Lord said, call Joyce Myers Ministry. I called the ministry, and she gives every inmate one book every six months if they write her a letter. Oh, my. She sent $600 plus shipping to all my 20 students free, and I'm teaching on the battlefield of the mind. So that's God. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> See, now if the devil comes after her, her, her windows are shut, her doors are locked. You can see her, her life is full. Not just full of the wrong stuff, but full. Yeah, you're busy, but is it Martha busy or Mary busy? Everybody's busy, but are you busy with the right stuff? I got a full plate, but what's on the plate? That won't help you, that won't help you, and that won't help you. Get the plate full of stuff that's going to help you be strong. It's incredible. Ma'am, what happened to you? Quickly. Well, I just, there's a peace. That's good. That, that's different. Oh, that's than, good. That's uh, good. Anything I've ever experienced. So I'm learning. I was here last year mm. and was facing about the, the largest battle of my life. And I never shared it with you or mm. anyone else. Mm. The pastors knew it. Mm -hmm. And nothing happened. Mm -hmm. And a few months, but I knew in my spirit something had changed. When you say nothing happened, see, nothing happened at that moment. Nothing happened yeah. at mm -hmm. that moment. Mm -hmm. I wasn't prayed for. When he spoke to the fig tree, nothing yeah. happened at the moment. And months later, out of nowhere, mm -hmm. someone just found a f an era and the whole thing was resolved in yeah. one second. Wow. It was miraculous. And so now I've been in this car wreck and even now I'm in really bad pain in my arm and mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. I can hardly drive and I'm driving an hour and a half one way to get here. Dear Jesus. And you want to go. But since you prayed I Sunday did. night there is a peace like nothing I've ever experienced because I'm learning this. Just like last year, when it didn't move, it's going to move. It's already finished. You are the Lord, my healer. Come on, Zinc, join with me. You are the God. That, that he let me. You are the Lord. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word. You sent your word. And healed, and healed my sin. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord my Again, everybody, you are the God. You are the God. That, that he lives. What's going on here, sir? I've got diabetes, and sometimes my eyes get blurry. Uh -huh. I don't press my eyes. This your first time here to, this week? First time. Oh, no, I was here last year. Oh, last year. Yeah. Okay, I haven't seen you for a whole year. No, I didn't see you when I was here I, last year. Where, was, where have you been? I haven't seen you for a year. <laughs> I live in Montalcy. You, were, you live in Dallas. McAllister. McAllister. Right. How bad your eyes? 
Oh, they get blurry sometimes. They blurry now? A little bit, do I see? You are the God that healeth. He's healing breast cancer right now. Anybody with breast cancer, come quickly. Diagnosis of breast cancer, being wonderfully touched by the Holy Ghost. You sent your word. Over here. And he. I believe he's healing you, ma'am. He's healing the breast cancer. You are the Lord, my healer. Come on, everybody. You are the God. You are the God. Breast cancer. You are the Lord. No. Breast cancer, no. Well, come, come, come. You sent your word how long? Five years. Five years. Five years no more. Five years no more. Healed my disease. You are the Lord. Huh? Huh? Fine. Looks better. Looks better. Yes. Cleared yes. right up. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you, Lord. Look at the smile on this guy. Turn, let the people see you smiling like that. That's the man just got his vision back. Yeah. You are the Lord, my healer. Time with cancer. Third time and I this fighting is the, cancer. The end of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. you take treatment, ma'am? I'm just, yes. How long have you been taking treatment? Well, about three months this time. And what kind of treatment you taking? Uh, oral medications. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have lumps on your breast? I have cancer all over it, but it's still called breast cancer. But you In have my lumps. lungs. You have lumps? Yeah. You can feel them? Mm -hmm. You can feel them. What? What's the matter? I have to tell everyone what I have. But where's the other ones? You can't find them. They're leaving. I think so. Yes. I think so. What's the matter with this place? How we doing here, young lady? Oh, I was wondering about you this morning. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing awesome today. Tell me what happened. Tell the people what happened last night. Last night, I was having problems with my ears, and I couldn't hear anything, especially out of my left. And he covered my ears, and I couldn't hear anything. And then when you pulled your fingers out, I heard everything 10 times louder. <laughs> Where's the shout? Where's the shout? Come on, where's that sound of triumph? Where's that shout that brings the walls down? I mean, if you're going to take a, a, a Tuesday night out of whatever you had planned, and you're going to come here, don't you want to do it all? Yes. Jesus said, when you bind this strong man, loot the house. Take everything in sight. When you come in here and you see that the enemy is bound and he can't stop God from healing, that's a sign that he's tied up at least for that night. Yes. He's been tied up for a couple of hours now, and then you need to begin to gra start grabbing some joy and, and some peace and some of the prophecies and some of the healing and... Because this isn't just for the people that are up here. It's supposed to splash back on you. Amen. But you've got to stand in line. If you want Shamu to splash you, come on. You've got to stand by the tank. <laughs> right? You've got to go stand by that tank and let that fish come around and slap you with some water. Get in line for this. Get in line. So tell us what happened. When? <laughs> well, last night, the hearing, you, you began to hear. 
Yes, and it's been that way ever since. I haven't had any issues. I, Even when I sleep, it will usually clog and whatever side I'm on, and I didn't have any issues. So, so what are you gonna, who are you going to tell? Are you ashamed of this? No. Who, who are you going to tell? Give me three names, three names. <laughs> Who's that? That's the mother. There's her mother. <laughs> you don't. Definitely my mom. <laughs> well, your mother knows she was here. But who, who are you going to? Who, who, who do you want to tell? Can you think of three people? I could tell anybody that I run into. I mean, it's no, awesome. I mean, but some people on purpose. I mean, some aimed emails, some aimed texts. Who would you want to tell that knows you, that knows this condition? I have? would tell my aunt. My aunt hasn't been here, so I don't think she knows. But I would tell her. I would tell my dad because my dad needs to be saved. So hearing well, something will, like this. How will you tell your, what would you tell your unsaved dad? What would you say to him? I will tell him that God healed me. <laughs> and he can do that to him too if he would just get delivered and stay that way because he's always in and out. And the third person is? <sighs> you ought to all be thinking of this. You should all be thinking of the three people from this weekend, of all that you've seen, email, text, phone call. What did the disciples say in the book of Acts chapter? We can't but help speak about the things we've seen and the things we've heard. If you all just told a handful of people, this building wouldn't be nearly big enough. People would come just for curiosity's sake. It's incredible. This is incredible stuff. How's Johnny doing? You doing all right? I haven't seen you run around here yet. You always dress us so sharp. So is this life changing, would you say? Yes, very. I would say so. It's helped me a lot. And I don't know, it's given me more hope and faith and everything. But I mean, I hear so much clearer now and it's I don't have to be face to face to hear somebody. It, it surround sound. <laughs> I hear everything. <laughs> I've seen the lily push its way up through the all the house by the Holy Ghost. Come on, I believe. I believe in miracles. Come on, for I. Believe in God. Amazing. Right here, right here. Yes. Come on, sir. How's my friend doing back here? How you doing, sir? How's my sir, my friend doing? I can, uh, I can breathe better. <clears throat> A lot better. Thank you. How you doing, sir? How you doing? I'm looking right at you. I'm looking right at you. I thought you was talking to somebody else. He did too, but that don't matter. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I talk wanted... to you and he answers, but so what? Well, what I wanted to do was bring my wife down there to you because she needs you. That's what I said. That's why I, I, that's why I came was for her. Isn't that just like a husband? Isn't that... <laughs> He gets healed, and then he says, I'm bringing my wife down so she can get healed. That's a good husband. That's awesome stuff. That's awesome stuff. We will get to your life. What's going on here? My brother has Alzheimer's. He can't talk. Okay. So he don't say anything at all? No, that we can understand. No. Mm -hmm. Then how old's your brother? He's 70. He's 72 soon. How long has he had Alzheimer's? This is one of those 12 years. Mm. He's been diagnosed 12 years. Come on, let's all stand to our feet. Then sings my soul. My Come on, how great! 
by the Holy Ghost, just mighty touch. How great mighty touch. Thou art. It's all over you, ma'am. It's all over you. It's all over you. Let it go, ma'am. So my Savior God to thee. How great, how great thou art. How great thou art. He's concerned with her. Oh, Lord, my When I in awesome wonder, in awesome wonder, consider all. Come on, the world thy hands have made. Come on, I see those stars. Come on. I see the stars. I hear that rolling thunder. Restoration of the whole mind in Jesus' name. Come on, the universe. The universe display. Come on, then sings my soul. Then sings my soul. How are you doing, sir? Huh? I'm doing great. Well, tell me what's happening here. I had a stroke when I was 38. I had trouble when I get nervous like my mm. thoughts okay and I've had surgery four surgeries on my back both hips I have a sur surgery from here down and I'm in constant pain and this weekend I had to leave church because I was hurting so bad wow and my wife I wish she could have came but my granddaughter my great granddaughter, mm -hmm. they had to take to the hospital. The, Where's your pain at right now? In my hips and in my back. Was it hurting now? Yes. All the time. All the time. All the time. Put your hands up, sir. Can you put your hand up? There you go. Just put it up. Just raise it high. Go ahead. You can do it. Just raise it high. Don't don't worry about it. Just put it up there. Just come on. Get that hand up there. Come on. Let's go. Let's get the hand up, sir. Let's get it up. Somebody better give God a shout here. Come on. He couldn't do that before. Somebody better give God a shout. That pain's going away. That pain is leaving. Keep his hands up. No, no, you keep the hands up. Moses had the hands up. They win. Hands fall down, you lose. Come on, keep the hands up. Keep the hands up. Holy Ghost, we thank you. Go through this whole body. Remove, a, remove every part of inflammation tonight. I break the spirit of infirmity from the body. Loosen the body. Loosen the body. Loosen that spirit from the body. Loosen all the guilt and the shame from this in Jesus' name. No more pain. No more back pain. No more hip pain. Make his legs strong tonight. Get him ready to walk. Get him ready to leave this chair. No, oh, no more, no more, no more. Where's your pain? Where's your pain? It's better. How much better? It, a lot better. So give me, a, give I me one to ten. At all, but my grand granddaughter. I'm talking. I don't want to talk about your grandchild. I'm going to talk about you. <laughs> okay. Tell me where this pain is. Come on. It's, it's in my left hip. I mean, my right hip, and uh, where they did the Still surgery. Still there. Yeah. Yeah, it, it hurts, but not like it was. Uh, we drove two hours to get here. Okay. And I have to drive back. Well, if you drove two hours, that means you're worth at least two prayers. <laughs> How many thinks he needs at least another shot at this? Come on. I don't want you to just receive the prayer. I want you to believe with me. You've had so many people put hands on you. But you've got to believe. You've got to work at the believing part. It's not getting prayer. It's not even falling on the floor. It's believing. 
I mean, it's going home and saying, what's the matter? What's, what's the issue? Am I not believing? It's finding out where's the short in the, in the electrical system? Where's the leak in the plumbing? When Jan the, John the Baptist was told he was, was going to cut his head off, he didn't ask the disciples to get him out of prison. He didn't go to work on his release. He went to work on his faith. Find out if he's the one. Make sure he's the one. If he's the one, I'll die for him. But I got to know he's the one. He didn't go to work on his release. He went to work on his faith. A lot of times we don't have a, a problem that we think. We have a faith issue. We're having trouble believing something because it doesn't look right, feel right. There doesn't seem to be anybody coming out to help us. You seem like you're alone. That's where you cultivate. He's with me, he's with me, he's with me. I'm going to bed, he's with me. He's in my room. He's in the chair with me. I praise him. I'm okay being in this chair for a season, but I'm not staying here my whole life. I'm okay with this walker for now, but not my whole life. I'm going to have an intervention. I serve a God that steps into my affairs. Come on, every hand up. You got to really go to work cultivating. You've got to work with your faith. Your faith isn't as strong as you think. Amen. When your faith is operating at a high level, fear runs away. Doubt runs away. Yes. Your analytical mind checks out. Amen. Logic is an enemy of your faith. Logic is an enemy. Miracles don't make sense. They go against natural law. Jesus operates from another dimension. He said, I eat food you don't even know of. I'm kept strong by secret, invisible food. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to here tonight. My faith has been really, my faith is, I about gave up. It's been damaged. I know that. Because I've hurt so long. I know that, and that's why I'm talking to you. I'm taking the moment to talk to you. I don't want to make you feel bad, but I'm trying to fix something. Because you're about to get out of this chair. I don't bring any false hope with me. It's not, I don't carry false hope around. I have no need for that stuff. I don't carry around the emotional. I don't carry that stuff around. I, I, I had it happen to me. When you have the real thing, you don't need to make something up. But you got to speak into people and get them to hope that they'll listen to you. Sometimes you run into people that know a little more than you. I hate to tell you that. <laughs> Come on, say amen. Sometimes you just run into a few people. Wow, well, they, they know something. I don't know much. I don't know much, but I might know a little more than you in this area. You probably know a lot more about stuff in an area that you're, you're an expert in. But this has been my life for 44 years. For about 44 years, something like that. We've helped a lot of people that want to listen, but everybody doesn't want to listen. It's amazing the people that remain the way they are because they're not humble enough to listen. There's so many people that were so close. Have we seen a lot of these kind of people? Who had more than I can count. More than my computer could calculate. How about ALS? Yes. How about mongoloid babies? Yes. How about born blind? So many. But you got to be hungry and saying, you know, I'll do whatever. Come on, put your hands up and say, I'll do whatever. Amen. Come on, say, talk to me. Pray for me. Insult me. Jesus said, man, he, the lady said, even the dogs. He said, that that's for the dogs. He insulted the woman just to see where her quit button was. She didn't have a quit button. I said, she did not have a, a quit button. When he realized that that wasn't going to drive that, she said, even the dogs get the crumbs. What Jesus say, man, look at this lady. 
I mean, when you can call a woman a dog and get away with it, come on, say, that's a good day. Come on, somebody say something. She didn't have a quit button. Some of us are so easily offended, so easily we quit. So easily. Fight for what's yours. Contend for your healing. Contend for your sanity. But don't depend all on the natural arm. That's what atheists do. Atheists do that. Killers do that. Drug addicts. Drug cartel. I mean, they, they, they mess with that whole vitamin industry. They take vitamins. Some of the most evil people take vitamins. But I'll tell you what, they don't talk to the Holy Spirit. They don't have the same access that you do. You've got to do more than the atheists do. So before you get, oh, hey, I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm eating health foods and drinking uh, soup broths, soup and broth, and, and I'm, you know, I'm drinking a lot of and staying away from carbs. And well, Before you get too haughty about that, atheists do that. They're down there writing out the vitamin shop just thinking how they can become a stronger atheist. Come on, somebody help me here. It's true. It's true. And the strippers down there thinking, how can I stay healthy to keep stripping? I've got to take some green powder and some boo-boo juice. Come on, somebody. What I'm saying is we've got to really yield to the supernatural gene that's in every one of us. Come on, say, when I got born again, no, no, everybody, when I got born again, I inherited a supernatural gene that gives me access to the supernatural. You better give God a shout. Come on. I don't have the time to work with this man. This man's so close. But if this man was in my company, if he was in my services for a month, six weeks, I just don't, that's not what I do. It's steady pressure. If he's in my presence, I won't let him say those words. I won't let him think that thought. I'm going to keep him corralled. I'm going to create a, a space for the anointing to work. I don't, I don't want to pity him. I want to love him, but I don't pity him. Pity cancels all your faith. It's the biggest ministry in the church today. People feel sorry for other people and do nothing about it. I feel bad for him. Well, what's that do? One lady said, you've been on my heart. I said, what'd you do with it? What'd you do with me? She said, well, I've just been thinking about you. I said, well, what'd you do with me? She said, I don't know what you mean. Well, I've been on your heart. I didn't hear from you. You didn't. Did you pray for me? Did you send me an offering? Did you? What did you do? Well, I, I didn't take it that far. No, I know you didn't take it that far. When God puts somebody on your heart, say a prayer. Come on, send them a letter. Then it can hurt you to send a couple of bucks to somebody in the mail. It ain't going to hurt you to do that. Be a giver. I can't say that enough. And your whole house is a seed factory. You have stuff you'll never use. You have a tractor that won't even run. A bicycle with one wheel. Come on, somebody say amen. A stuffed rabbit with one ear. Come on, help me here tonight. Sow that thing. Everything you have in your garage, your attic, your closet is a seed. Give it to somebody that can use it. And that one dress you have, that yellow sundress, it's a yellow sundress. Lady, you aren't going to get into that in this lifetime. Yeah, that's for the new Jerusalem. Come on, somebody. You're going to wear that to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Come on, help me, ma'am. So sew that dress, and because it means so much to you, it's going to bring a harvest quicker. Those shoes are what my mother gave me. She's in heaven. She could care less about those old shoes. 
You're weird. You're, there's seed right there. Give it to a shoeless person and get a harvest. But you want to hold on to these shoes. Your mother's up there dancing around in a glorified body. Come on, somebody give God a shout here. I mean it. You got money all over your house and don't know it. You don't even realize it. Clothes you don't wear, stuff you don't use, boats you don't, you know. One guy said he had a boat, and I went to his house because I really liked it. It was a Chris craft. I know about, a little bit about boats, and so I was in the city, and I wanted to see what he was talking about. So I got to his house, and I said, hey, he was so shocked. I said, I'm here, come to see your Chris craft. He said, you mean my boat? I said, yeah, I want to see it. He said it was uh, cherry mahogany and inboard motor, and I, I really, I, I know that boat. I'd like, I'm interested in taking a look at it. He said, it's out back. I said, let's go see it. It was out back on cinder blocks without a motor. I said, well, I thought this was, he said, well, you know, I didn't tell you everything. It needs work. And yeah, it needs an engine. Come on, somebody help me here. So, so, so. I can't tell you that enough. I love you, sir. Your name again? Bill. Bill. Oh. Yeah. It means protector. That's what the name William means. It means to be a protector. Can you raise that hand again? Come on. I know you can. Come on. Come on. You couldn't do that. You couldn't do that before. He could not do that before. Where's that pain at over here? It's a lot better. What do you mean a lot better? Oh, it... It just feels like somebody's gripping it now. Before, it was just like somebody's ripping it out. Yeah. It just hurts I'm going to so put bad. your hands up. I want you to begin to use your mind, okay? Look at me, Bill, from tonight. Your imagination is one of the greatest weapons you can use. Change your videos up here that aren't helping you. Your videos will keep you sick and will keep you weak if you're imagining the wrong thing. That's where pictures are put there by the devil. That's where pictures are put there by yourself. That's where you regard iniquity. And, it, and the reason the devil tries to pollute the mind with such filth and such wrong stuff, he knows it's a cradle of power. Because you practice seeing yourself healed. You practice seeing yourself debt free. And you play those videos. You play those videos. Yeah. They interviewed Michael Jordan years ago, and they said, man, how do you do this? He said, I see it before I shoot it. I see it. Some of those people will tell you everything. I see it. He didn't say it was God, but he said he was using his mind. Your mind is a weapon. I want you to begin to just see yourself. I told a man in, in, in what was that? that? That was in Greenwich? No, that was in Bennington, Vermont, completely blind completely blind. His name was Sonny. I said, begin to see yourself. Imagine yourself. Imagine. He did it, and within 24 hours, a man that was completely blind began to see. Yeah. Amazing. I'm telling you. We get used to the way we are. We go to church to hear people sing and preach, but do nothing. We don't go here to get activated. We don't come here to get activated. We, we go home, we, get, we go to church. Now, I've got so much to do when I get home. You have so much to do that's not going to help you live longer or feel better. Come on, I'm trying to help you here. Just trying to help you. On the way out the door, I'm trying to help you. Look at this. I love this. Look at this. So wh why do you have the back brace on? What happens if you take the brace off? My back is hurting real bad. I've had four surgeries. I know you did. What happens and if I you take a, it off? What happens if you take it off? It, it hurts. Who's with this man, by the way? Who's with him? Is his wife with him? This, okay.
still. Okay. Well, see, I'm, well, I'm going to get on you here in a minute. Yeah. You're a good man. You're a very good man. You're going to walk. They're going to walk. They're going to walk. I see it. 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 Oh, right up those concrete steps, you're going to walk. Right up those concrete steps, you're going to walk. By this mighty Holy Ghost, we give all the power. Oh, there's the power. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, there's just, it's going all through you, Bill's going all through you, he's my master, come on master, Jesus, oh the power's on you, like the fragrance, after leaving the pain it's all gone his name come on everybody your name is On kings and kingdoms, they'll all but there's something about that What's that? I'm going to walk out of this chair. Woo so <laughs> Woo! Those are fighting words. What are you feeling right now? Wonderful. Just a, a peace. Can't, you can't explain it. Can't what? You can't explain it. This anointing is going to be on you for days. Days. This is not just for tonight. This is for days. For days. You're going to do some things in the coming days that's going to surprise you. Because your desire to walk is going to outgrow the hopelessness you've been living with. That hopelessness is over. That's what broke tonight. Tell the whole place, I'm going to walk. Tell them. I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk. Tell them. Tell them. I'm going to walk. Yes. Say Amen. How are you feeling right this moment, though? Huh? It, it's a... Uh, I, I don't you know. I never felt like this before. You know, I'm... I'm just haven't, haven't felt like this. Every miracle has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Every miracle. Sometimes it's, sometimes you just, it's, it's, it's beginning and you just take it the way it comes for whatever reason. Where do you go to church? Pentecostal Tabernacle in Bartersville. 
Where is that? Is that far, close to here? It's uh, 25 miles from Tulsa. Other side of Tulsa. Other side of yeah, Tulsa. It's right on the Kansas Oklahoma line. I, my friend's been telling me about it, their healing service. Wonderful. I'm glad you're here. And how you feel? How you feel? How's your back feeling? Better. Is it how much better? One to a ten. Lot, how much? A lot better. One to ten. How much? Uh, seven. 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 Do you feel mm. like walking? I don't know, brother. I'm just asking. I'm just asking the question. If you feel like it, I'm afraid I'll fall. I didn't. I didn't ask you that. I didn't oh. say get out of your chair. I just said, what do you feel like? I don't know. I'm not ready tonight. Okay, but you feel like it though. See, I know you do. I know you do. I feel it. I feel the faith. I do. I just wish I had you to work with. I just wish I did. You're just, you're so close. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord, right now. Come on, let's sing it. I need you, Lord. I let's take them. Let's take them. Right now. Take him. Bow my hand to worship. I'm going to be praying for you, young man. Right. Give Bill the big God bless you. Come on. Come on, I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. What's going on here? Quickly. February 22 of uh, 2022, I got married. December 3rd, she passed away. Mm. The same year. Mm. So December 3rd would be a year. Mm. And since then, I've been struggling really hard with the uh, spiritual life. Really bad. Okay. Put your hands up. Holy Spirit, I thank you for this man. I just pray for him tonight. I pray your anointing come on him in a mighty way. Yes. Heal the hole in his heart. Touch him with your love. Romans 5, 5, pour love into him. Jesus. Let him know that you have someone else prepared that will be coming his way. That he'll not be a man that lives alone. But give him grace tonight. Give him grace to live for you, to not be under condemnation, but that he would come to you continually saying, Jesus, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. God never gets tired of hearing you say you're sorry. Never. Wear a path out to that throne room. Wear a path. Let all the angels recognize you when you come walking to that throne room. He never gets tired of seeing you. Never gets tired of hearing you say, I did it again. I'm sorry. It's his grace that will make you strong. Somebody give God a big shout. Come on. Come on, let it go. So it's a power. Somebody give God a shout. Come on. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. Right now. What's going on here, ma'am? Well, I have... Diabetes and I have glaucoma in my right eye. Right. It's worse in my left eye. Uh huh. And then I have uh, hearing aids in my. We ears. charge after three things. We charge. <laughs> 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 you got four things. That comes with a price. That fourth one. Mm -hmm. What do you think we should do? Well, I think we should just lay hands on me and rebuke <laughs> the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. You've what? I've never been sick. You've something never like, been sick. Like a cold or something, but look at you. Major. Look at you. Aren't you sweet? Mm -hmm. What was your mother's name? My mother's name was um, Catherine Who? Gagnon. Ca Catherine Gagnon. Catherine. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And she's in heaven. <laughs> 
She was? She's in heaven. <laughs> I would think so. I don't know. I would <laughs> think I was thinking she might be. The Holy Spirit's on you, that mighty touch. Oh, dear Jesus. That's him, ma'am. That's him. Don't be afraid. That's him. We give you praise. We give you praise. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Wow. Wow. Oh, there it is. There it is. Mm. And make me what I ought to be. He's on you, ma'am. That's the power of the Holy Spirit on you. Holy Spirit. Move. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Give God a shout. She got it. Come on, give God a big shout. Powerful. Holy Spirit. Stand in uh, proxy for my brother-in-law. He's a former POW, Vietnam veteran. Oh, and, wow. and he's got cancer running through his body. Killed Touch him. What's, that, what's your brother's name? This is Bill Lanham. Oh, another Bill. Touch that Bill. Oh, the power of the Holy Ghost on this man. Let yeah. that cancer be taken completely out of his body in Jesus' name. Come on, give God a big shout. Come on, we believe it. Make my life what it on. What's going on here? God to fix me. I want him to make a sign and a wonder out of me. Okay. I've been like this since I was four months old. They removed a tumor and uh, it just never I'm not did sure go back. You, what, do you want to, what do you want different? I want my face to work on You want your side. face? Yeah. So this is like a Bell's palsy? Kind yeah. Of thing, is what but, it is? But the nerves are not cut or damaged. Right. They just, it's uh, like a yeah. Bell's palsy. Yeah. Put your hands up. We see a lot of Bell's palsy. Why can't these... Oh, my, the powers. Leave her go. Let, sir, leave your wife go. I can't work with her if you're not stopping the Holy Ghost. The power just hit her. This is hit her. It's going to straighten out her whole face. Those muscles are going to loosen up here tonight. I want to go home and I want everybody to know that God done this. Somebody better give God a shout. Come on. Give God a shout. Yes. Oh, my. Let those muscles begin to relax. Let those muscles begin to relax. Let blood. This is a circulation issue, ma'am. That circulation is moving up in through your body, up into your head. That face is going to begin to straighten out. I'm telling you, as surely as night follows day, that face is going to get straight. Get ready. Get ready, sir. This is your weekend. That's the most precious thing. I, I'm glad you said that. And she's praying in tongues right now. Don't disturb her right now. So a lot of people in here that have tongues. I've noticed that. Come in. If you don't have tongues tonight, what's going on here? When I was 17, I was diagnosed mentally ill. And you have what now? When I was 17, I was diagnosed mentally ill. Mentally ill. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's How old do you know? I'm 41. Okay, so that's a pretty long time ago. Mm -hmm. 24 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, that, uh, do you think you're still mentally ill? Yes. Why do you think you are? Uh, depression will swing in racing thoughts, will swing in the whatever. I am really, really fortunate I don't see things or hear things other people don't see. I don't do any Holy of that. Holy Ghost is on her, sir. Yeah, he's on her. She's, she's really... My God, she might be sleeping here tonight. Get me a pillow and a, and a blanket down here. You ain't going to recognize this lady, I'll tell you that. Make my life 
what it ought to be. Holy Spirit. Why don't we bring all these people here down to the altar, all, everybody, and we'll gather people around the altar. Yeah, yeah. Bring everybody down to, right to, with him too. Just bring them all down here instead of a line like that. Let's bring them all down here. Yeah. Holy Spirit, move through. I need some catchers down here. Holy Spirit, move through me. I need some catchers. The power's on this land. Uh, oh. Hey, my hell. oh, this mighty Holy Ghost. What it ought to do. Stage four. Stage four. Bone cancer. Had to have four units of blood. I'm glad you're here tonight. This is a healing night. Well, that old devil's not so, going to do any more than what he did. Help this lady. Come, Holy Spirit. I, how you doing? Huh? I feel sort of drunk. Come, sweet Spirit. All oh, the power. His power's on him. Come in thy strength and come. In thy strength, oh, the power here. It's the Holy Ghost. Power. Come in thine own special way. Come. In. Oh, the Holy Ghost. Get this girl. The power's on her. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Oh, the power. Get him. Help me here. Somebody help me. Ah. Uh, come, Holy. Sp oh, the power's on her too. Come, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Ah, oh, the power. Come on, come in thy strength. Thanks. Oh, serve the power. The power. In thy strength. Now, the power on this man. Come in thine own special way. Come. In thy... And Spirit of the Living, fall afresh. Oh, no more, no more, no more, no more. I said no more. It's over. It's over. I said it's over. I said it's over. Come on, sing it, everybody. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living Fall. Fresh. What's going on here? You what? Ma'am, I'm just going to touch you. You'll be all right. Don't worry about it. You've got three strong men all around you. You worry too much. You worry way too much. You worry. Don't worry. I know you do. Then quit worrying about it. You're going to do it. Nothing can stop you. Nothing. Nothing. He's making a clear path. Shinier and brighter. And sh There it is right there. It's the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost. What's going on here, sir? Kidney what? Kidney... Stage four kidney disease. Kidney disease. And uh, they're, they're treating me for the last three months, six months, prostate cancer. Okay. Well, how about if you bounce back from all of it? How about if you, how about if you, this week, boy, it's less and less and less and less. How about if we do it that way? Yeah. You take that? I think that. You take it? Yeah, we're, ma we're maintaining. You're we maintaining, but we're going to move ahead. Okay. We're going to move ahead with this. Symptom by symptom, going to begin to disappear. Strength, your diet, you're going to begin to get hungry. You're going to begin to be thirsty for water. Water is going to be your best friend. Good water, your best friend. 
you make him drink it. Do you hear me, lady? You, if you love him, you make him drink the water. God's going to flush his body and flush cancer cells right out of him. Somebody better give God, oh. Come on, somebody better give God a shout. Spirit of the living, oh, the Holy Ghost, fall afresh on me. Let there be glory and honor and praise and glory and honor to Jesus. Glory. Let there be Come on, everybody, let there be glory and honor and praise. Glory and honor to Jesus. Glory and honor. No, you don't. Power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the land. There's power, power, this blood of the land. Come on, there's power for who? Robbie, Madri's son. Yes, of the land. There is power. Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are you done with the power of the white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed? The power's on her. Get her. In the soul-cleansing blood Oh, my, the power. Oh, the power's on that guy. Woo! My God! Is that your man? Is that your man? Of the Lamb. A new anointing, a new anointing. New anointing, new anointing. Let that river flow out with a force of righteousness. Stronger than ever. Stronger than ever. In the soul cleansing blood. My blood cell count. It goes up and it goes down. It was 2.2 just last week. They don't know what's going on. Is this who's this? That's you married to this man. I've lost 196 pounds. It's probably where you don't recognize me. You're a beautiful couple. What a testimony both of you are. Holy Ghost, we give you praise. I got this, Norman. I got that prayer request right here in my pocket, wherever Norman is. I got it right here. I got it right here. That's Madri's son. Put your hands up. Come on. I feel something right here. This is a suddenly. God's going to perform a suddenly in your lives. Mm, a sudden visitation is about to change everything. Mm. Closer than ever you two shall be, inseparable. And the glory will fill your room. You will see the glory. You'll see it. When Lazarus came out, he said, didn't I tell you if you would believe you would see the glory? Come on, say, the glory can be seen. You're both going to see it at the same time. You're both going to see it. Come on, somebody better give God a shout. Come on. To thee we ascribe glory. To thee we ascribe honor. 
Come on to thee. To thee. That's the Holy Ghost. He's all over you. Power and majesty. Only is the Lord. Every bit whole. Every bit whole. Complete healing. Loosen the tongue and the mind. Let this be a miracle to all that know this woman. And on earth. Come on, let there be the we ascribe. Come on, glory. And majesty. Holy. Oh, the power here, my gosh. Help me with this girl, please. Somebody help me here. power of the Holy Ghost. It's all over this lady too. The glory's on this lady. There's glory all over her. Glory on this lady. Amazing. I've been blind unfortunately in this eye for my entire life. I'm 31. I know. Okay. Close your eyes. Power and majesty Oh. Come on, let's all stand to our feet. We're getting very close here to either the end of the meeting or an all-night service. I don't know which we should do here. <laughs> what a great couple of days this has been. Can you give God a big shout tonight? Come on. The first thing I would say is when you leave here, when you go home, if you spend time up here on the floor for five seconds, if you were slain for any reason, you need to really begin to expect change. If you were standing out here, same thing. You've been in this atmosphere all evening long. I'm not the healer. I can't heal anybody. Billy Burke does not have that kind of power. I feel it flowing, though. I can feel the presence flowing through me, but I, I can't heal you. But you can take what you receive. I can't wait for this Bill guy. Where'd he go in the wheelchair? Where'd he go? I'll tell you what. I, I, that guy there, wow. If I just had him for a month, I'll tell you that right now, a month. What are you saying? What are you talking? I'm saying steady exposure. Radical treatment. Come on, you f can't fight a full-time devil as a part-time Christian. It won't never work. It'll never, never work. Touch my friend tonight. Touch him by the Holy Ghost. By the whole, oh, what the, get this guy. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Ooh, power's on that guy. Yes, what's going on here? for my wife. She's been watching for the last several services. She's in the Philippines. She's in the Philippines, your wife. Yes, we're going through the immigration process. But anyway, she's got some health issues and she was saying, I wish so badly I could go. So what's her name? Ruth. Is she watching right now? She's watching right now. She's also listening on the phone. Okay, Ruth, can you hear me? Ruth? She's on speaker. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, Ruth, what are you fighting over there in the Philippines? What are you fighting? Um, I'm fighting for um, myoma and um, thyroid problem, um, pre-diabetic. High blood sugar also. Yeah, and you're a good husband. So, so you're going to live over there? No, we're trying to get her over here. You're trying we to get her. We need that miracle too. We need it suddenly. Okay. It's been taking a while and I want my wife home. You're trying to get a green card or what are you trying to get? A, a spouse visa. Ah. Yeah. Come on, every hand up in the whole place. Come on, I know we're so close. We're so close here. We give you such praise, Jesus. We give you such praise. Touch my friend tonight and touch, bring his wife home. Oh, Lord, give him, make her invisible. Get her through every Woo! gate and guard. Get her here yes! and heal her completely by the Holy. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on, somebody give God a shout. 
Somebody give God a shout. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Somebody give God a shout. Somebody give God a shout. Come on. Come on. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Thank you. You doing better today? She can see. She can see what? Her blouse right there. Where? She this girl this was blouse. completely blind in one eye. Probably blind here and mostly blind this one. Just barely could. And just lately. Can, the last week and a half she's seen. And now she's seeing. seeing what? She can see that lady's blouse right there. The she lady's can, blouse where? The, 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 the pink blouse oh, right, here. right here. Uh-huh. uh-huh. She was standing there. She said, yeah, okay. I can see that. Out of the way. Out of the way. You, out of the way. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. But anyways. Yeah. She can see eight or ten feet movement. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, yesterday when you was not, not before last... Uh, this anyway, I come over to her and I said, "Can you see me?" Oh. And she, I said, well, She said, "I see your ears. I see your mouth. I said, can, you, can, you, can I see? Can you see my eyes?" And she, I said, "Can you touch them?" And she reached up there and poked me in the eye. So, <laughs> both eyes, one and the other. Now, amazing, absolutely amazing, absolutely. Come on, let's all get out of our seats. Meet me at the altar. Come on, everybody, meet me at the altar. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, all down here. It's going to be a great prayer. We're going to pray right here. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Come on down here. Come on, Bill. Right down here. Right down here, Bill. I want you using that left arm, Bill. Hey, I want you using that left arm, okay? Great is thy faithfulness. Come on, let's sing it. Great is thy faithfulness. Come on, everybody, hands up. Great. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning. Morning. Bye. Morning. No. New mercies I see. Come on, all I have needed. All I have needed. Bye. Hand has provided great. And great is come on, I can't hear you. Come on, beautiful. Come on. New mercies. All I have needed. Thy hands have provided. Come on, great. Thy faith. Sir, I didn't see you out there. You got, a, you got oxygen going in there, right? You want to come up here to the front here? Wanna, can you get up here? Oh, you're going to take your oxygen out. Okay, there you go. Let him get through here just for a minute, okay? While he's coming, let me just say this. What a glorious three days this has been. God will always leave enough left over for you to work with. He wants you engaged. He wants you engaged, okay? What's going on here, sir? Uh, I got COPD. COPD. Horrible. Do they drain you? Do you get drained? How often? About every six months. Every six months, huh? About every six, seven months, I end up in the hospital. Every six months, you end up in the hospital. They put the tubes in and drain you. Yeah. That's my pastor. That's your pastor? You're, you're his pastor? Okay. We do the prison ministry. You do the prison ministry. Yeah. Well, we got to get you healthier than this to do the prison yeah. ministry. Yeah. It's been my life dream. <laughs> What's that? It's been my whole life trying to stay out of prison and, <laughs> and now, now, I'm, now I get to go to prison. 
So, but now you're going willingly to prison. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus, we give you praise. Amen. We give you such praise. What's your name? Philip. Put your hands up, Philip. I'm going to touch you. The power's going to go all through you. Yeah. I mean, the power's going to go through your whole body. Amen. And it's going to free you from this. Yeah. Do you hear me? Yeah. You're going to begin to breathe better, feel better, lose weight. You're going to live. You're going to live. Holy Ghost, I thank you for this man. I give you... Oh, that's it. Power of the Holy Ghost! Oh, my God. Somebody give God a shout for that. That's the Holy Ghost breathing through you, my friend. Breathing through you. Breath, the poema of God. He's breathing to you Mr. Bill, I believe it. I said I believe it. So come on, shout, we believe it. Help him up. Somebody help him get set up. Help sit him up. Help sit him up. Sit him up. Wow. 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 What kind of trip was that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What was that like? The best trip I've ever been on. Oh, my God. I love him so much. Yeah. Then obey him. If you love him, obey him. He's, He's going to be dealing with you about a lot of practical issues. I'm not going to mention them. You and I know what they are. Listen to them. Okay. Look the Holy at me. Ghost has been dealing with me. Good, good. I've never had a relationship, never been married. You've never been married? I... Are you open to it? No, well, I've had so many guilt problems and felt so guilty. I said, are you open to it? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, well, I'm already married. I'm married to Jesus. I didn't ask you if you are ready. <laughs> Yes, sir, I am. I am open to it. You're open to it. He smiled when he said it. I'm open to it. Yes. Listen to me, all of you. I love you dearly. I want you to stay plugged in, however you do that. Whatever church you go to, frequent the church. If you don't believe in the church you're at and it's not able to make you grow, find one that does. Don't use a church, a dead church, the rest of your life. Well, my pastor, well, my church. Then you're, you're to blame for staying there. If you're anywhere near this church, I would highly recommend this church. I would highly recommend this church. I said I would highly recommend this church. Come on. Put your hands up. I'm going to pray with you. And I want you to repeat it and I want you to mean it. Remember, a very smart bird can repeat any prayer. Doesn't mean the bird is saved. Because you repeat a prayer, it doesn't save you. It's when you believe it, it's when you mean it. Say this with me Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus I, believe you I believe you died on the cross, and you suffered on that cross. And you rose again the third day that I might live and have a choice on who I believe to be my master. I believe you hold the keys. I believe you're coming back for your bride. I believe you're able to save me tonight and give me a new beginning. I've seen so much this weekend. I'm coming back home to you. I'm rededicating my life to you. Give me a hunger for the written word of God. And cause me to find out my purpose. My purpose for living. I don't want to just abide here. Dangle here. Exist here. I want to live with purpose. I'm expecting purpose to come my way in the coming days. I will serve you all my life. I will give you everything that I have. And I thank you tonight 
that you have let me live so that I could give my life back to you. I give it to you tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Give God a thunder of praise. Come on. Come on. Come on, a thunder of praise. Come on, a thunder of praise. Anybody notice a difference tonight just being in the meeting? You're different, your vision, your hearing. Anybody notice anything different tonight? Right here. Your shoulder what? You couldn't do that. Wow. Anybody else over here? Anybody notice any difference at all from sitting in the meeting tonight? Yes, ma'am? It's getting smaller, much smaller. Wow. Wow. A growth is so, so small. Anybody in the center here? Any, anybody, anything, any different? Quickly. Yes, ma'am. You can do what? You can move your leg. You couldn't do that before? Wonderful. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Any, yes, sir? Yes, ma'am? I had pain in my side and my back, and it was all gone. It's all gone. The pain in the side and the back. Yes, sir? Yes. <laughs> now, I didn't pray that you could eat anything all the time, though, okay? Don't abuse that, but I'm glad for that. And back here, somebody had their hand up? Yes, sir. You came for your wife. Fever and the body aches, all gone. Wow. Anybody over here? Yes, ma'am. Your fingers what? Your fingers are moving. Wonderful. They were frozen. Wonderful. Anybody else? Quickly. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. You can breathe better. That's amazing. Who did that? Who did it? Who did it? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Anybody over here? Quickly, right here. You had 80% hearing loss. And now you're hearing. Somebody give God a shout. Come on. Come on, hurry, man. Hurry, man. You got to get rid of that fear, okay? Work on getting rid of that fear. I want you to read the Gospel of Mark, all 16 chapters, you hear me? I want you to read all those chapters in the book of Mark. Stay there, live there, bury yourself in the book of Mark. That power. Wow. What happened, ma'am? <laughs> the pastor. I'm sorry? She got kidney failure. Kidney failure, renal failure, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Don't leave yet. Please don't leave yet. That's just, just wait. We're just about done. Shh. Come on, there's people down here getting help. It's a holy moment. Don't. Not time to socialize right now. Not now. Go ahead. Go ahead, ma'am. You're what? I just have failure. Okay. Let's believe that's going to change. Yes. Let's believe that there's going to be fresh circulation in both kidneys. Let's believe it. I believe it. I'm so strongly believing this for you. Hallelujah. I am so strongly believing this. That you're going to actually feel this by the time you hit the, hit the front door of this church. You're going to feel a strength come into your body. The double filtration system. Holy Ghost, we thank you for healing these kidneys. Do a miracle in these kidneys. Put life back into her body in Jesus' name. Oh, my God. We can come. That's it, man. That's the Holy Ghost. Come on, let's give God a big, big shout all over the place. Come on. Come on, give him a mighty praise. We're going to sing the Lord's Prayer together when we get to the end of it. For thine is the kingdom. I want you to everybody within a radius of 100 miles hear you. All right? 
and then when we're done with that part of it, you're dismissed. Okay? Our Father. Thy kingdom come. Come on. Thy, thy will. Give us this day, everybody. Come on. Give. Come on, give him a shout of praise for everything he's done. Come on, he deserves your best, at least for 30 seconds, everything he's done. Sunday morning, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. Thank you so much for coming and being a part of this healing crusade. Stay plugged in with us, Facebook, lighthouseok.org, and all the social media sites, and we will be having more meetings like this. We always do. Women's Conference, Camp Meeting, Healing Crusades, Messiah Productions, Always something going on at the Lighthouse. God bless you. We love you. Have a safe, safe trip home. Everyone else, Lighthouse people, church is tomorrow night, 730. Lighthouse people, tomorrow night, 730. All right, sir. Hey, guys. Thanks for being here tonight. Thank you, ma'am, for being here tonight. Hey, you. Yeah.